Republican National Committee today launched nationwide ads against vulnerable Democrats on impeachment. The ads target members of Congress who represent districts President Trump won in 2016, including one in Minnesota. But is it accurate? Here's Pat Kessler's reality check. My name is Angie Craig, and I will be the next Congresswoman. From the Democrat Angie Craig went to Congress in 2018 by flipping the district President Trump won in 2016. Angie Craig promised she'd tackle problems facing our country. But a new ad claims Craig broke her promise by focusing on investigating the president, showing Craig in a lineup of liberal villains Republicans love to hate. Craig votes with the radicals for endless investigations of President Trump. The ad doesn't mention impeachment, and Craig doesn't support it yet. She's called for impeachment hearings, but stopped short of saying she would vote yes to impeach. You've given me the opportunity to represent you. Craig is one of 31 Democrats representing congressional districts Trump won, including two in Minnesota. President Trump won Minnesota's second district by a razor-thin 1% margin. And he won Minnesota's seventh district by 31 points. That's his largest victory margin. Craig wants more hearings. Republicans are launching a fierce fight back against impeachment. Identical ads around the country changing only the names and faces. Rose, Rose votes, votes with, with the, the radicals. radicals. Craig votes with the radicals. Tell, tell Max Rose. Rose. Tell Angie Craig. Craig's campaign says she's authored at least 13 bills, including health care. It said Minnesotans are sick and tired of smear tactics. And the Washington Republicans continue to lie. That's reality check.